What up, everybody? It's your man, Jay Phil. And in this video, I want to talk about... Well, I'm not talking about it. I'm just going to do it. Yeah, today's video, we are doing Dame Inspired. Dame Funk Inspired, to be more specific. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> This is your first time welcome i make beats and if you are interested in that kind of thing you know things of that nature please subscribe hit that notify bell that way you are updated on all new content if you don't know who dame funk is do your homework this is another cat that's crazy i've been doing a lot of west coast stuff lately and he's from pasadena california he's gonna bring that uh funk you know what i'm saying and it's in his name so he has to so we're gonna do something kind of in his vein yeah i'm gonna keep this real simple well as simple as i can i'm using all stock plugins by the way i'm in logic i don't know what you use uh, matter of fact shout out what you use let's start with the drums i'm going to be using lend drum kit which comes with logic so you know it's from the you know the old school lend drum you know these type of sounds I want it to sound uh, a little deeper. Let's do something with this. That's feeling a little better already. All right, cool, cool. Let's turn up the drive. And then I'm going to do the snare and probably a clap. Something like that. I like this clap too. Something like that almost on that prince vibe oh and by the way i'm using a bpm of 110 but you can go slower or faster if you want to you know do your thing here we go right off the bat i actually do want to quantize this because i want it to be housey but it's still gonna be funky Actually, I can adjust the claps so they come in a little after the snare. Something like that. Okay. I want to put another clap in here, like right at the end. Because I, I always like to do something a little bit different at the end of the bar. So we'll just go ahead and add one more clap real quick. Watch this. Shaker. Let's add a shaker. So the shaker is going to go like on the offbeat you'll see what i'm talking about watch this that's pretty much it we're gonna keep the drums super super simple man let's add some chords to this with dang funk a lot of his music he's gonna have like some type of keyboard sound and then a pad sound so it's gonna be like you know atmospheric almost but just like with a dance feel and just funk to it so let's go ahead and add those elements and like i said i'm using stock sound so this sound right here is called electric harmonics right this is from the es2 let's come up with a chord progression and to do that to help me with that i'm going to use my ebook for those that don't know i do have a piano chord ebook i want to thank everybody who supports this it's called the piano chord progressions for beat makers i'm just going to use a two chord progression very simple and another chord that i know that he loves is called the major seven so you know you don't have to use this book but you know if you want to support your homie get this thing man <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to copy what I see. One of the progressions is like 50 chord progressions in here. You know what I'm saying? Very helpful. Page eight. Yeah. It's just two chords. Two chords. You just copy, copy my hands, man. And the notes. <laughs> so first chord. I'm in the E flat minor nine. And you, you don't have to know what that is. Just look at the notes. <laughs> Second chord I'm gonna play is a E major seven. And I'm gonna use my modulation wheel to change the sound so it goes like this. My modulation wheel on the left. Yeah, I like that. So 
the next thing I'm gonna do is add strings, creating the atmosphere. So let's add some nice strings. And the key thing with the strings is we're gonna have vibrato to it. So let's add some strings. For the strings, I am using the retro synth. And check this sound out. <laughs> and I like this sound because it already has vibrato in it. And then if I use the modulation wheel, it kind of filters it. melody just to add some more spice to it so I'm going to use another retro type sound and let's add that right now it's like a bell type sound got to add next right bass line let's go <laughs> all right so bass line what i'm going to use is uh es1 again this is all stock sounds this is called the percussive wave bass check this out I'm going to add to this and it's going to be like some type of lead melody as if I'm playing live which I'll probably do I will do because one thing about Dane Funk is he's a musician like he plays instruments man and I appreciate his musicianship and if you are not a musician it's okay I'm going to show you a little cheat code that a lot of y'all might already know but there's a way where you can play any note without messing up you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna use this thing on logic and i'm sure like all daws have this man so let's go back into the daw i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about and the sound i'm gonna use is kind of like this guitar synthy type of sound so let's watch this <laughs> hammer lead let me show y'all what that looks like this is part of the es2 this sound is crazy and the key that I'm in is E flat. It's very important to know what key you're in. We're gonna go to our MIDI effects over here on the left, and we're gonna transpose, we're gonna use transposer, and we're gonna set our key, our root key to E flat, which is the same as D sharp. All right, so that's this key right here. And then the scale that we're gonna use is, let's try minor blues and see. Let's try that, minor blues. So that means whatever key that I press, I don't even have to know what these keys are. <laughs> Look. Not even looking. And it's still gonna fit the music. hitting random keys and because it's transposed to that scale it's gonna work out you know what I'm saying <laughs> it's a crazy little cheat code man so that's just a little tip another thing is he will play all the way through when it comes to like the lead instruments he'll just play it all the way through as if he's performing you know what I'm saying man let's just give it a shot man you know I'm not the best musician but I'm gonna show you the type of thing you can do just playing all the way through non-stop and when you do this method you don't really have to worry about making any mistakes because it's transposed for you, you know, to that 
specific scale so you don't hit any other notes. <laughs> trying to play bad i was like literally just trying to play really really stupid <laughs> but it still sounds halfway decent because i was using transposer now this is something i normally don't do i would just play and play because i can actually play but for those who can't play at all you can use this method and I, that just goes to show you that you can get away with it. You know what I'm saying? And then if it's some notes that you really, really didn't like, just delete it. You know, it's all good. I'm going to add a little bit of delay on this just to give it some more vibes. And again, I'm using all stock plugins. <laughs> Again, I hope this is helpful for at least five people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's your man, J. Field. I'm saying the peace and positive energy. Uh -huh.